People always think it ended at all lane, but it doesn't you know, continue to dance the and burn them originally all the way to Chich Wharf in Bolton. It's about eight and a quarter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hi John, we're now on the Bolton Arm. Every so often along the canal you get sections where both banks come in and it narrows. And if you look carefully, I'll show you these grooves. So you got these grooves here. And originally, when the canal was operational, you would have had some big wooden planks. At the end of each wooden plank, you would have had two cast iron handles. And just say you wanted to drain a section of the canal and maintain it, what you do, you have a few of these big men, you used to drop these planks in, and they were numbered in the order that they were going to go into the slots. And then anyway, once you've got all this in place, it formed what's called a coffer dam. And then you could lift the paddle up there, let the water out. So these are quite ingenious. Your foot maintenance, good idea. Hi John, you have to excuse me, I've got a call. What's interesting about this stop gate, if you look here, there's one groove here, and that's on an angle. So that's going across there, like that. And then you've got your sluice paddle in the middle, and then you've got another one. So another groove. So at this point, you've got one stop groove over there and you've got two at this side. So you could drain it either side of that paddle. Amazing. John, we've been exploring the Bolton Arm and along this section it gets extremely wide. Well this area is called Top of Lodge and originally this was the site of quite a busy boat building yard operated by Andrew Knowles and Company and it was here that Joe Lansdale, a former boatman, used to work. Originally you had two canal arms were extended beyond here, one went up to the road and another went off to the left. They are filled in but it's still a rather nice spot. 
and just beyond there is Little Eva, which is all bungalows now, but it used to be coal mines. Hiya John, we're now in the Salt Harbour, which is not a million mile from Hall Lane, and there in the water is an old box boat. It was at this point that they used to unload the salt boats that are run on and take it across the road to Chemicals Potter Works. Hey John, behind me, the canal used to continue beyond that point, over our lane, and it used to go another two miles all the way to Bolton at Church Wharf. Unfortunately in 1950 it was decided to remove the aqueduct and fill it in from that point onward. So that's a sad end to the Bolton Arm, but it does go beyond there and we'll go and have a look at it. Hiya John, I don't know if you can make it out, but the letters stand for the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Company, and this is a boundary marker showing the boundary of the canal company's land. Here is a line at towpath, and that originally would have been Water Canal. What we're doing, we're approaching Hall Lane. Oh, we're actually on the towpath first, eh? Yeah, this is the line at towpath, John, and that would have been the Water Canal, which is now in where I could it used to be. So, that's, that's water, this is towpath. So you can see here, we're dropping now. Originally, it would have been on one level. But the aqueduct's been removed, so... We're now at the site of the Law Lane Aqueduct and here, this is where the arch would have been, you know, to take the canal across the road. Again, this was removed in 1950 because the road was quite narrow and obviously the aqueduct being low, it weren't any good with losing stuff. So they took this away and this is all what's left of the former All Lane Aqueduct. It's not very obvious now, John, but originally it said LYR, which stood for the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. And what that was, that was a boundary stone, and that marked the edge of the canal company's property. The canal at this point was on the embankment there, but when they finally got rid of pot of chemical works, landscaped it a few years ago, this section of the canal is unrecognisable. Hey John, we're now on the site of Botox Chemical Works. To put it in perspective, all lane is just over there. The canal would have come along here. So your towpath would have been on the right hand side. Where we are now would have been water. And here was a massive, massive chemical works. Right blot on landscape. And it, you know, like for years it was there. One day, obviously economic things change and then it shut down. Bit of a blot, you got rid of it. And then the landscape's all this and incorporated it in part of Moses Gate Country Park. And because it was all toxic, the land, and because you had chemical stuff leaching out, you had to import lots of sort of like raw sewage from the sewage works at Vingley to make things grow. Well, they've overfilled it here a long way, but the canal is here. 
this is a towpath is probably roughly where the fence is and the canal is here but a lot lower length a lot lower level going over towards Fog Lane which we'll have a look at shortly Hey John, we've just come across all that landscape in what was you know, the site of former Potter's Chemical Works and here is Fog Lane and originally the canal crossed here by a bit of an aqueduct you can just make out the returning wall there so the canal would have crossed this lane it would have gone off in the direction of Hall Lane so when they did all that landscaping they've well not eradicated the canal but you can't find it anymore so anyway we're at Fog Lane we'll have a look at a bit of brickwork a bit of stonework then we can pick the old top off up again Here John, I don't know if you can make it out, you can just about make out the old purple engineering brick which was the start of the span of the aqueduct. So this was literally where the aqueduct started what took the canal across the road. And here is a rather impressive stone retaining wall which would have been the approach embankment up to Fogs Lane. Again, some lovely stone, hard made brick. What we're going to do, we're going to go up this footpath and then get onto the canal and look at the towpath. I've seen a bit of it now. It's a beautiful stone retaining wall. You can see the canal is just on top of that. Put it in perspective, John. If you look here, these are coping edges at towpath. This is the towpath, as you can see, and all the green is what would have been the water. And if you look that way, that was the approach embankment to Fogs Lane and beyond that Hall Lane. Hey John, when this canal was filled in, in the 1950s, uh, they didn't remove the clay puddle. So what it means is when it rains, the canal, even though it's infilled, fills up with water and it floods the towpath. So if you come down here after a heavy down power, you're going to get wet feet. We're on the section between Fog Lane and Smithy Bridge, which is at Darcy Lever. Uh, we're going to have a walk in the corner and have a look at the old bridge. Hiya John, we're now in Darcy Lever and the bridge behind me was the former Smithy Canal Bridge and that took the busy Radcliffe Road over the canal. A few years ago you could still get underneath it but due to weight restrictions what they've done they've packed what would have been the arch with concrete so it's underfilled. But we want to reinstate the canal, you've got the old canal bridge there but a need replacing because vehicles are like everything used to be. But well, here is Darcy Lever, let's go and have a look. This would have been top at Canal Bridge, so you would have had something like about eight foot draft. So you can imagine the canal's a fair way down here, you know, we're level at the towpath. But a nice stone bridge all the same. At least it survives. Hiya John, we're now still on Smithy Bridge. And if you can't read it, it's County Borough of Bolton Streets Committee. Smithy Bridge rebuilt and it looks like 1935. Hey John, and we're now on the infill canal at the other side of Smithy Bridge at Darcy Lever. 
Hiya John, we're now at Darsaliva, we've just gone beyond Smithy Bridge, that way is the site of Damside Aqueduct, and to put it in perspective, here, what is now a tarmac path, that used to be a canal tow path, and all this greenery used to be water canal, which is now full of trees. Hiya John, just beyond me is the site of the former Damside Aqueduct, it was one of the most notable aqueducts on this canal. Unfortunately, many years ago, bits of masonry were supposedly falling off and they decided in the wisdom that they were going to demolish it. So in 1965, after three attempts, the old downside aqueduct was removed. An absolute tragedy. You can see, boy, you know, I mean, this, this would have been wooden bottoms, this would have been the canal, and you know, it's funny, isn't it? Passage of time, you know, 40 odd years on, and who'd known that canal used cross road? Um, that's the only down, downside to it all, John. It's the fact that obviously now aqueduct's gone. We've got to do a bit of a detour along the road to pick the other side up. Not a lot to see today, John. That's Ratcliffe Road, that's the lever. And this was the abutment to the old canal aqueduct. So at this point here, it would have crossed the road, it would have crossed the river, and it would have gone to the other side of the valley. It was absolutely massive, and it was so high and. Here. This is the other side of the old aqueduct, you've got some original stone wall in there and that made brick. Hey John, we're now on the approach embankment to what were Damside Aqueduct. And you can see here, absolutely massive stone retaining walls and buttresses, what would have supported one massive aqueduct. Stone, stone, but absolutely phenomenal, incredible. You get an idea and a height of the approach. And over here, there's some of the handmade brick of the aqueduct itself. And all the aqueduct would have been like that, John. These are made brick. doing John to put it in perspective because the aqueduct was demolished in 1965 we're having to do a bit of a detour you're know, along the road along this footpath and then we'll rejoin the canal at the other side and what we've done we've come across the river where the canal used to be and we're going up to have a look at the other side of what would have been the canal aqueduct don't know if you can just make out John well this is the stone retaining wall what supports the approach embankment to the aqueduct, but also the canal. So the towpath is now on this side, and the water canal would have been there. The legit canal. So I'm now actually in what was the water canal, and that was the towpath edge, and everything to the left with towpath. So let's go along the old top path and see if water's still in it. It's now incorporated into someone's garden, which is here. So the next section of the canal is in someone's garden, and they've got the old towpath, and then beyond there it's landscape to burn them by them. At this point, John, we're back on the old line of the towpath. The canal was on my left, it's been filled in and landscaped. We'll follow this the footpath along the old course of the canal until we get to burn them by them. We've just come past what the Benley Bridge and we're following the line of the old canal, which is not really recognisable, to Birmingham Viaduct, where the canal used to go under. At that point, St Peter's Way, it obliterates the line of that canal. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, 
uh, the actual canal towpath is over there. We saw on the offside of that canal now. All this here would have been the water canal and the towpath was on the right hand side. So really what we've got now it just looks like a forest but that was a canal. To put it in perspective John, I'm now stood on what would have been the old canal towpath. To my right, which is now infill, that would have been the water canal. And just round the corner is Burden and Viaduct and the canal continued beneath there until it was obliterated in 1973 by the construction of St Peter's Way, which was a quick way into Bolton from the M61 motorway. This John is Burden and Viaduct and it used to carry the Bolton to Bury Railway which shut circular 1970. And here is the route of the old Manchester Bolton Bay Canal as it goes towards Bradford Street. Unfortunately, in 1973, St Peter's Way, a new quick way into Bullen Town Centre from the M61 opened and that severed the line of the old canal. We've just come underneath Burnham Viaduct. Behind me is St Peter's Way, but originally up to the what, mid 70s, the canal used to continue beyond here, went on the Bradford Street, and ended up at the back of Bullen Parish Church in an area called Church Wharf. Unfortunately, from here onwards, can't follow the line of the old canal. It's now filled in and it's underneath the dual carriageway. Tragic. Hey John, my name is Stephen Parker. Many years ago, at the tender age of 17, I founded the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal Society. What a shame, our wonderful old canal has now been replaced by that road and all that noise and congestion. Let's dig canal out.